Cuz Mike Farley, we're in South Lake, Texas tonight, and we're in a sunken cabana. It's kind of like a sunken pirate ship. It's just a treasure to behold. So the fun thing about a sunken cabana is we can stand here at the same level as people standing in the pool. So people can swim up, sit on the bar stools. It's a, it's a really great thing. Uh, it's great so we can serve people in this location. We're eyeball to eyeball with everybody in the swimming pool. It's really great. The challenges are when you sink a cabana, you're now in a hole. Okay, so what happens in a hole when it rains about eight inches in the last two days, which it has in the last two days, if you don't have it set up properly? The plane, the plane. So when it rains eight to 10 inches, like it has the last two days, uh, if you've got a sunken cabana and you're below the grade, this becomes a marvelous miniature swimming pool, which we really are not looking for since we have refrigerator in here and other things in here. So we have to do what's called a sump pump. So we have a drain over here in the middle of the cabana. It's a drain here, and the water goes into the drain, just like any conventional drain. But this drain runs over to a sump pump. And so the way a sump pump works is once there's water in there, in the sump pump, the sump pump turns on and pumps the water out the drain system to the street. So even though we're lower than the street, we're definitely lower than the neighbor's yard. In fact, we're the lowest spot around right here. We still are nice and dry even after eight to 10 inches of rain, which we just had. So the sump pump keeps us dry. So that's an additional thing. Now, if you have a hillside with a sunken cabana, the best way to run a drain is just to gravity. It's just going to run the water out to daylight and you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. That's the best situation ever. Because here's the challenge with a sump pump. What happens when we have that storm and there's lightning and we have power failures in the neighborhood because of down lightning, sump pump's not coming on. So you just have to realize that that is a possibility. And so if we do have a refrigerator down in the sunken cabana and it fills up with water, we're probably gonna have to buy a new refrigerator. But that's not gonna happen very often. You just have to be aware of the challenges and if the risks are worth the challenges. And we have this great setting here to enjoy from in the cabana. It's a wonderful thing. So one of the things also is just a quick add to this cabana is we wanted to build in a refrigerator. The challenge of the refrigerator is we have to have a certain amount of space and then we have to have a certain amount of overhang for the bar stools and then we have a certain amount for the gunite shell. So one of the reasons is this counter is quite large is to accommodate the refrigerator underneath. If you don't have a refrigerator underneath, then we're, we're dealing with a shorter distance and it's easier for me to serve my guests. Now, while they're sitting on their bar stools, they just have to reach for their drink. You know, I can't hand it to them. So it all still works out pretty wonderfully. And we, we have the refrigerator and all of its prized possessions underneath as well. So just one detail to think of in your thoughts of sunken cabanas. It's a wonderful thing. So enjoy your sunken cabana this evening. Uh, if you have time, come on over. We'll get a drink and uh, we'll have a great time. Y'all take care. Uh, if this was helpful information, please share it with your friends, especially all those that want a sunken cabana and are thinking about it. And like it and watch out for the airplanes.